You have to listen to the language of teenagers and to make it real, you need to use the same expressions they do. And so I include some in the Alice books. As far as um, the words in Shiloh, thinking about Judd Travers, I have to become Judd Travers. I have to know how he walks, how he smells, what he eats, how he lives his life. And it wouldn't be Judd Travers if he didn't swear. And there's a particular passage that children ask me about. Um, Marty has come to, he has had to give Shiloh back to Judd Travers when he found out that the runaway dog belonged to him legally. And he says to Judd, wondering how he treats his dogs and knowing really how, it, how he mistreats them, um, what are their names? What are, and Judd says, I don't name my dogs. Get, scram, out, and damn it. That's what I call my dogs. And kids say, why did you use damn it? If I had just said, get, scram, and out, that's what I call my dogs. A grumpy old grandfather could have said that, and we would laugh. But when he adds the damn it, I say to children, doesn't that give you pause? Doesn't that naming a dog that, doesn't that give you some idea of what this man is about, that this little beagle could be given that name? It gives you a chill. You don't want to laugh anymore. It's not a grumpy old grandfather. It's Judd Travers. And words, every word does have a great influence in, in the emotion. And a, word, a book is only valuable to the extent that it, it creates an emotion, draws an emotion in your reader. And if, I can, if the reader isn't going to be as frightened, um, as frightened and angry about Judd as Marty is, then the book doesn't ring true and it won't have the emotional impact that it does. So I carefully think about every word before I use it.